Welcome to my Days of Our Lives official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Effects take a grim turn for Wendy and Trip while Stefan makes a hopeless deal with EJ after summoning Steve and John to her apartment, Ava tells them of Clyde's demand to break him out of captivity. It's a hard pass for Black Patch. Ava emphatically states they've no other choice if they want to see Trip and Wendy again. The triad bicker until Steve and John come around to see effects Ava's way. In the beer tank, Trip imagines him and Wendy on a road trip, eating their way through Italy. In reality, the only thing that makes their agony sufferable is having Wendy right beside him. She feels the same. They anticipate gym treatments for Wendy and three weeks of watching March Madness for Trip once they get out. Eventually reaching his limit, Trip starts pacing and fleetly breathing. To calm him, Wendy takes a turn at guiding Trip through Pisa. Stefan lumbers into the Dimera living room, panting, and pours himself a drink. Wearing his mask, EJ saunters in, wondering why his family called him so late. Stefan slams his drink and takes a deep breath before admitting he needs his help. EJ glibly passes, but Stefan tells him he shot Harris. What the bloody hell? EJ seeds, wondering what he was allowing. Stefan says he was guarding Gabby, but he didn't finish the job, so Clyde is coming for him. Further Sloan temporarily remake Kate wears sunglasses and a chapeau with a large brim. Roman wears a baseball cap and sunglasses. In a dark paneled hallway, Kate wears a flamboyantly large chapeau and sunglasses while Roman dons a baseball cap and tones. Wearing a monk's mask, Lucas opens a door to them. Good evening, brother, Kate deadpans. After drinking them into his modest room, Lucas bemoans how quiet and lonely it's there despite it being better than Statesville. They josh about the minimalist nature of Lucas' lodgment, his forced continence, and his laundry and gardening duties. When Kate mentions she visited with the abbot before coming to Lucas' room, he scoffs. Kate, what? Your mama ca and mind her ps and qs with a man of God? Lucas I allowed. You d be struck down by lightning as soon as you entered the structure, but good for you. Kate Glass houses, my friend. Further Allison Holker talks Siddick, late hubby Stephen at the Demera manse, Stefan further explains to EJ that Harris knows he's the shooter, so he's demanding he help take Clyde down. It's spun so far out of control he doesn't know what to do. EJ calmly says Stefan will do nothing while he calls the police. As Stefan explodes at his family, his aspect lands on Stefano's portrayal. He knows their father would tell EJ to save family at all costs. EJ mocks his family for invoking Stefano, but agrees to help in exchange for all of his Demera shares, along with his land effects and coastal means. Stefan points out he LLB destitute. But alive, EJ retorts. EJ will have him safely transported to a country that does not hold repatriation with the U.S. He has other ideas to be participated in due time. To keep Gabby safe, Stefan agrees. Further why Max Schwarkowski left DWTS after breaking down in their auto in Pisa, Wendy and Trip grow serious in the tank. Trip assures her that together, they can survive anything. They hear noises from outside the tank. When the door doesn't open, they wonder if it's not Goldman out there, but someone who could help them. They bang on the wall, yelling until they hear a grassing noise and a non-stop ticking sound. What the hell was that? Wendy worriedly asks. In a monk's mask, Lucas laughs while playing cards with Roman and Kate at the friary. Kate has the largest pile of nuts in front of her. At the friary, Roman, Kate and Lucas play poker with nuts in lieu of chips. They bandy Clyde's reign of terror on Salem, Julie's rebuild of the Horton house, and Kate's symptomatic agreement to run a 5k, $8 5,000 bottle of wine as the prize sloped the scales. Lucas grows morose. It's nice to see you guys living life to the fullest. Kate assures him this will end last ever and asks what he plans to do when he gets his life back. Lucas has ideas, but worries he will end get his freedom. She vows they LL celebrate his return with the whole family, who'll reign him with so important love and affection. 
Further, Justin Hartley's tracker picked up for season two at the apartment, Ava, Steve, and John compass their breakout plan, which involves ever-fading Clyde into thin air. John tells Ava they LL need help from her family members. When the ticking sound stops in the tank, Trip realizes the reflections have closed. We re-sealed in. Trip holds Wendy as she fears death. Further, how Paulina's death could change Salem, Kate and Roman leave Lucas with inventories and books, including the Count of Monte Cristo. Kate assures Lucas that this will be over soon. Lucas prodigies if, when that happens, he ll go home or back to Statesville. At the manse, EJ draws up a formal contract. Stefan scowls. Father would no way authorize of this. EJ counters it straight out of his playbook. My help is the only option you have left. This is what it costs. Stefan reluctantly signs. Hopeless for help, hanging in there, surprise guests days of our lives elude at some plot twists in Salem. One character is hopeless for help, while two others are trying to survive a deadly situation, and someone gets two unanticipated guests. What kind of drama is set to unfold during Tuesday's show? Time to dive right in. Days of our lives Stefan Demera is hopeless days suggest that Stefan Demera will be hopeless. So much so, that he ll turned to his quarter attorney family, E.J. Demera, for help. Stefan was unfit to finish the job where Harris Michaels is concerned, so he ll stopgap and supplicate that his family can give some kind of backing in all this. But what can E.J. do? Days of our lives spoilers Tuesday, March 5th hopeless for help, hanging in there, surprise guests speaking of the medicine ring drama, added teasers note that after Clyde Weston gives Ava Vitali his rearmost round of orders, she ll fill John Black and Steve Johnson in on the plan. Can they stop Clyde or will they help him break out of captivity? Days Wendy Shin and Trip Johnson struggle to survive across city, DOL, hint that Wendy Shin and Trip Johnson will continue to lean on each other. Sorely, while Ava and Steve work lifelessly to try and figure out where their son and his gal are, Wendy and Trip may begin to lose stopgap. Still, they ll try to hang in there. As the week goes on, it looks like the reflections of the air tank will close, and Trendy will be on a spouse time. What happens coming? Suckers will have to tune in to find out. DOL Lucas Horton gets two surprise callers. Incipiently, day spoilers for Tuesday's show suggest that Lucas Horton will get two unanticipated callers at his new safe house. Looks like Kate Roberts, Brady, and Roman Brady will pop by for a visit. Will they've good news or bad news for him? Several Salemites admit unanticipated callers the lives of several Salemites have been hanging in the balance on days of our lives. Spoilers from March 4th to March 15th tease surprise visits and broken hearts, while unlocked villain breaks out. Youthful Salemites in trouble after Harris woke up, Rafe arrived in expedience of getting answers on his firing, while Stefan crept around the sanitarium in expedience of silencing him formerly and for all. Ava's solicitude has not only been for Harris, but for Tripp and Wendy, who are still being held and turned at the hands of Clyde. After a run heft at the domain, Alex and Kristen participated their studies on how Teresa and Brady have putatively been getting near ever since Tate wound up in trouble. Their son has been lower than pleased by their visits, and declared he no longer wants to see them. As for Salem's other worried teen, Holly miraculously awoke from her coma and has continued to ask her mama Nicole if the party ended, having what appears to be no recollection of what happened. Sarah arrived to give Holly a scan, assuring Nicole and EJ that she sounded well but should go to the sanitarium for farther tests. Coming up on days, Paulina takes a turn for the worse before entering an unanticipated caller. Several people platoon up to save Trip and Wendy before it's too late. Someone appears outside Holly's bedroom window.